Skydiving and Terminal Velocity by kscience.com. This here is a velocity time graph. So velocity is up the y-axis and time in seconds is across the x-axis. This here is a plane that has skydivers in it. The plane takes off and the skydivers are about to jump out of the plane. The skydivers currently have a velocity of zero meters per second because they're stationary. And now the skydivers jump out of the plane, their velocity increases. Their velocity increases as you can see here. But why does their velocity increase? So this here is a skydiver. The skydiver jumps out of the plane and has a weight of 980 newtons. So their weight is 980 newtons. I'm now drawing the air resistance acting on the skydiver, which is an oppositional frictional force to the weight, which is acting in a downwards direction. So the air resistance acting on the skydiver, air resistance in this scenario is 500 newtons upwards. So the skydiver is going to fall through the air. That is in a downwards direction. So what is the resultant force acting on the skydiver? At this point here, the resultant force acting on the skydiver is 980 newtons due to the skydiver's weight minus the 500 newtons in frictional air resistance acting in opposition to the skydiver's weight, which is then going to give a resultant force of 480 newtons acting downwards. So because there's a resultant force acting on the skydiver in a downwards direction, that means that the skydiver is going to be accelerating. So the line that I'm drawing now on the velocity time graph is showing that the velocity is increasing with time. That shows an acceleration because velocity is increasing. So at this point here, the skydiver's velocity has increased. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The skydiver's velocity has increased and the skydiver's weight remains the same. So their weight is 980 newtons acting downwards. So due to the resultant force acting on them, the person accelerated to an increased velocity. So because they're traveling with a higher velocity, the air resistance, which is a frictional force in opposition to the weight of the person, is going to have increased so the air resistance now acting on the skydiver has increased from 500 newtons to 700 newtons. So we can see that the resultant force acting on the skydiver will have decreased from 480 newtons. So what is the new resultant force acting on the skydiver? That's going to be 980 newtons due to the skydiver's weight minus 700 newtons due to the air resistance acting in opposition to the weight, which gives the skydiver a new resultant force of 280 newtons downwards. Because there is a resultant force still acting in a downwards direction on the skydiver, the skydiver will still be accelerating. So the skydiver is going to now be accelerating with a lower acceleration than the previous example. And we can see that by the line on the velocity time graph being less steep. It is less steep, so there is a lower acceleration. So between 51 and 55 meters per second, the skydiver accelerates with a lower acceleration until it reaches its terminal velocity. As you can see here, the velocity does not increase beyond 55 meters per second. The skydiver is currently moving at its terminal velocity, which is 55 meters per second. The skydiver is no longer accelerating, but why? Why is the skydiver no longer accelerating? So the skydiver's weight is still 980 newtons. However, the oppositional frictional forces to the skydiver's weight is now 980 newtons due to the increased air resistance. So what is the new resultant force? So the new resultant force is going to be 980 newtons due to the skydiver's weight minus the 980 newtons due to the air resistance of the skydiver. That's going to give the skydiver 
a resultant force of zero, zero newtons. So the new resultant force is going to be 980 newtons due to the skydiver's weight minus the 980 newtons due to the air resistance of the skydiver. So we can already see that the resultant force is going to be zero newtons. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So that means that the skydiver is no longer accelerating. So as we can see here, the skydiver's velocity increased to the terminal velocity and then no longer increased. So at this point of the skydive, where the resultant force equals zero, there is no acceleration. The skydiver is moving with a constant velocity. This constant velocity is known as the terminal velocity of the skydiver. So this skydiver here has a larger initial acceleration when it jumps out of the plane. This is because it has a larger resultant force acting on the skydiver, in this case, 480 newtons acting downwards. So if there is a larger resultant force acting on a mass, that means that the acceleration is going to be increased. At this point here, there is now a lower acceleration as shown by a less steep line on the velocity time graph. This is because there is now a lower resultant force acting on the mass. The resultant force is 280 newtons in comparison to 480 newtons. So the lower resultant force acting on a mass will mean that the acceleration of that mass will decrease. At this point here, the line of the velocity time graph levels out. It remains constant. It does not increase or decrease. This is because the resultant force acting on the mass is zero. So this point is called the terminal velocity, the terminal velocity. And if you draw a line across, you can identify the terminal velocity on any velocity time graph. And if you draw a line across, you can identify the terminal velocity. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.